It's time once again for another episode of Let's Talk About the Music with your host, Shells. Now, let's get to the music. 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 Woohoo! Let's Talk About the Music is starting. What is Let's Talk About the Music and why are you so excited about it? It's a podcast with controversial talk and a global mix of music. Oh, cool. How and where can I listen? Just go to letstalkaboutthemusic.com and click follow to be sure to get all the info about the bands that are playing and see their music videos. Then click on Spreaker or iTunes to listen live and even chat with other listeners and the host herself. What day and time is Let's Talk About the Music on? Every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. to midnight Pacific Standard Time. I think I'll tune in. Thanks for the info. Episode 15, we got a real big show for you tonight. Oh my god!
Welcome to the Alrighty Base here in Seattle. I'm your host, Shells, and on the other line, I have Greg, who's also known as Spider in the Hall. He's co-hosting with me. Hi, hi, Spider. I'm glad to be here once again. I am too. And later on in the show, in about one hour, Johnny Sonic is going to join us. He actually has band practice right now. Um, he has a charity event he's going to be putting on this Saturday. So he's going to come on to the show in about one hour and talk about uh, his charity plus the topic for the night. The topic tonight is about um, criticism, politics, you know, throughout the music. And that's what we're going to be talking about, which I've been doing a lot of research on it and... Musicians have been a very big um, support, and now I don't know how I don't know how to support or big, you know I know big influence in the in the politics world. Oh, very much so, very much. And I never realized how much they were until in doing all this research. I mean, there's a lot of them actually went to jail over it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a uh, pretty big nowadays, especially for musicians to be broadcasting their political ideals. Yeah, it goes all the way back to Martin Luther King. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, back as far back as uh, the Beatles, Bob Dylan, a lot of the uh, older musicians from around that time period were very vocal about how they felt about political issues. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't, uh, I think, if I remember correctly, um, uh, Woodstock was actually put on because of the war. Yes, very much, because there was just so many people. Uh, There's the, the entire subculture at the time, the hippie subculture, was very much anti-war, anti-Vietnam, and anti all everything that the government was doing at the time. It was huge, 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 huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's been uh, quite an amazing journey. I mean, reading here, let's see here. I have this one here. What well, you said by Paul Dylan, a uh, 60s folk rock singer, uh, mm-hmm. rally of people against the Vietnam War. There's a lot of them about Vietnam War. And Vietnam War went on oh, yeah. forever. Definitely did. And then later on in the 80s, we have Bruce Springsteen's uh, U2. U2's been a big, big portion of a lot of different things, though, in, in, the, in the politics world. Oh, yeah. 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 Um... They they are very vocal, very very vocal about about issues in the world today. Um, uh, Bono himself actually has done an awful lot of work, like as far as charity work and a lot of different things. And he's he's not shy about his about his uh, opinions. Mm-mm, no, not at all. And also Madonna, of course, Madonna's not not is not very shy about her views on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> Oh. So anyway, if you guys have any um, comments about um, this topic, uh, musicians against the uh, politics, give us a call. Back, call us here at uh, the phone number is three six zero four six four four two one six, or you can follow us out here in the chat room and put in questions and comments as well um, onto the topic as well. So anyway. So there you go. There's your phone number. Um, yeah. Now we also went in through here that the top six people who are actually spent some time in jail for their politics reviews. Tom Marlowe, you guys, some re- you did some recent on Rage Against Machine, right? Yep, Tom Morello. Um, Tom Morello and the lead singer of Rage Against Machine, Zach De La Roca. They they are uh, both very active. As far as political things go, um, Tom Morello, very, very progressive, very, very liberal musician. He, he uh, I know he's been to jail multiple times, actually. I know Rage Against the Machine got in trouble more than once for having performances just in the middle of nowhere in, like, this the center of a city on, like, city hall steps and things like that. So they were pretty, uh, Pretty interested in getting their message crossed. Mm-hmm. And then there's Pete Seeger. He is mm-hmm. the folk musician. Now, folk, folk people, they're very opinionated on their topic on the, in the politics because of their beliefs. 
from way back when, like the 60s and such. Then Valve Seeger is also 93 years old, who was the influenced musician of the folk moment in, in the 60s. So he was de- he's definitely uh, part of his uh, in the politics, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, folk as a whole is, uh, you, you wouldn't think it was very aggressive as far as politics went, but it's it's been probably the most often used as a political platform since the 60s. Mm-hmm. Because it it connects with people because it sounds so kind of nice on the surface, but when you listen close to it, they have really deep political messages involved. Oh yeah, uh, I think folk music. No, I'm not. I'm picking on anybody else, but folk music is more earth grounded than mm-hmm. most musicians out there. That's what my opinion, anyway. Mm. Yeah, a little less theatrical and more on the what's going on here and now. Mm-hmm. 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 And then scrolling down a little bit further, we have uh, number four on the list. I cannot pronounce this guy, this person's name, so I want to send you this name through chat. Hang on. <laughs> There's no way I can pronounce that name. <laughs> Looks like Felicuti. Felicuti. I can't say that I am familiar with the name. Um, what I've heard, what I've read here, she is a big, oh, his, he, sorry, is a big influence in the black power movement, uh. which he discovered during a brief stay in Los Angeles after returning to um, Africa, creating the band called Africa 70, as well as commuting recording studios and home for people and musicians who identify with his cause called the... These African names. I swear to you, I'm not able to pronounce these African names. I'm putting in the chat again. Just send you this link so you can read it. Anyway, it's called Africans to Return to Their Roots who Support. Basically, what I'm understanding when I'm reading, it was a black power to help the African Americans to get back to their roots and traditions. And that was back in 1974 when he declared that as a public. It. So. And then in number five was Victor, Victor Jera, another folk uh, folk musician back in the 60s, early 70s, which is closely part of the folk music. In 1960, the U.S. New Song Movement support social presidents of Chile, which politics remain as declared to... Change in the country with Dominic of the mental, the mental industry in the U.S. corpse. So, and then also again, there's Pussy Riot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're all probably female. one of the most recent here, actually. Yeah, yeah, all female group. Because you know, as, as females, we we like to cause problems. <laughs> Be very vocalized with our of our views. So that's six of them right there top six and there are like 